If you want to hear the selections for this round four of my entire collection palette roulette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène, and yeah, as I mentioned in my teaser, this is me revealing the palettes that are going to be used in this round four of my makeup collection palette roulette. How it works, if you're not aware, is that folks have picked a number between 1 and 30 for face palettes and 1 in 80 for eyeshadow palettes, and they don't know what the palettes are necessarily unless they've been paying really, really close attention, uh, as some duplicates will show up over time. They don't know what they've picked, but they know what number they've picked, and I will reveal what the number corresponds to as the palette, at least for now, because I'm going to shuffle them around at some point. And, uh, and I promise to use these four face palettes and these four eyeshadow palettes for the duration, which is usually a couple of weeks. Now, there are four in each in this case, so it may be maybe a little bit more than two weeks, but I want to really give a go at all of these a number of times before I report back. If you are not super patient to wait until the update video to see all the looks that I did or I should say a good amount of looks that I did with these palettes, you can follow me on Instagram and I post them on not necessarily a daily basis but on a regular basis you can see what I've done and usually I post within the day that I actually wore the look. I show you the palettes that I used and you can see the, the look both eyes open, eyes closed. Of course my focus is always on eyeshadow <laughs> but I make sure you can see my whole face because of course I'll be sporting face palette products as well. Okay, that's enough background. Let's get into the goodies, the good part. So I picked out, I, I went to my spreadsheet, made sure I had the right numbers, and I picked out those palettes that you have selected for me, whether you knew it or not. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy the selections that you made, and um, and I have no doubt that I will enjoy using them. So let's, let's get on with it. I just, <laughs> have I built up the crescendo of expectation at this point? All right, let's get into it. So the first person, I'm going to mention is actually someone who is new to this selection and it is, I'm, I hope I'm not butchering your name, Biljana, Biljana I think is your name. Please correct me if you will in the comments. I do like to get everybody's name right. Uh, with a name like Hélène that looks like Helene for folks who don't speak French, it, I understand the struggle of people not getting your name right. All right, so Biljana got two, focused on two numbers. The first number was number three for face palettes, and the second number was number 30 for the eyeshadow palette. Now, I have a feeling that three might be your lucky number or might be related to something that you appreciate because three and 30, I don't know, there's a story there. The first one. Now, face palettes include lip palettes, and so this is the first, uh, no, second, because I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. This is the second lip palette that I include, and let me show you what it looks like. I was looking for it, and I didn't realize I left some of the palettes behind me. This is what it looks like, and it's actually a palette that I've used a little bit, so it's, it's um, got decent packaging. It has a total of eight lipsticks in it. And there's a decent variety from kind of a little bit of a deeper nude all the way up to some pretty shiny stuff. And what I see here is that this one at the very end is, a, is called a highlighter. And these um, lipsticks are a mix of creams and mattes. There are a total of three mattes and four creams by, the way, by what I can see. Uh, and then that illuminator that I mentioned at the end. So the colors are very complementary, and so there, the invitation for the palette is to mix and match and do some kind of custom lip looks, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, obviously, the two shades in the middle were my preference so far, because that's what I've used, but I will definitely try all of the shadows. <laughs> shadows, listen to me. Am I eyeshadow focused, maybe? <laughs> I will try each one of the lip colors in here and definitely report back. Some people love these types of palettes, some people hate them. I find that if I'm going to be in the same space, like a, an office setting or whatnot, that these palettes are nice because I don't have to have the lipstick I'm wearing on a given day. I can just um, go to the office and put, uh, put this kind of lip 
product on and reapply it as needed because it's not a problem. I'm sitting at my desk. But uh, if you are out and about and don't like to always wear a nude lip, which uh, I'm okay with nude lips, although obviously I like color too, um, I don't think that palettes like these are a bad thing, as long as you don't mind a lip brush. Um, it's when the palettes get bigger that I think they're more objectionable. Anyway, I'm rambling. So Biljana, this is the palette you chose for face palette. And now number 30 is my absolute favorite in the Naked Palette series. Let me show you. Actually, I have to say that it was and it got displaced by the Naked Original. I just, I just rediscovered the Naked Original, but this one is very, very near and dear to my heart and for some reason it didn't get a whole lot of love and it is the Naked Smoky. That is the palette that Bill Jana chose and this is what it looks like. So I have got some very nice smoky looks in my future and you'll see that there is another palette that was chosen that has kind of a smoky feel to it. So I'm going to be very sultry this July and and I have somewhat of a sultry look today so apparently this is just going to be a theme you're going to get sick of sultry looks as you watch my videos over the next couple weeks but um, I really really enjoy it I have made some fantastic looks with the the gunmetal metal colors and this one this is actually surprisingly soft this combo right there and I do very much enjoy that plum I'm going to be busy with this palette over the, I keep wanting to say a couple weeks, but there's more palettes over the, the next number of days, not sure how many. And given how deep those looks are, I think that that neutral lip palette might be a very good um, pairing. So good job on selecting those numbers, Biljana, even if you didn't know what they were going to be. Next person, who do I have here? Steph. All right, Steph also did a great job. I was very excited by, by what she picked out. The first one is a palette that I was belly aching in a recent video that I was not using enough because it got a bit displaced by the Cleona Cosmetics uh, highlighters and that is, drum roll please, the Aurora palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I really enjoy this palette. But like I said, it got somewhat displaced and it's not getting as much love. So I'm looking forward to using these, not only as, as highlighters, but also as toppers for eye looks. So I'll be digging into that for uh, inner corner to brighten up the inner lid, maybe as a, a center of the lid highlight for a halo effect, brow bone highlight. I am, I'm going to be using this thing. So thank you very much, Steph, for picking this face palette for me. I'm going to have a ton of fun. And what did you pick for eyeshadow? Oh, I know already what you picked for eyeshadow, I remember. It is the Cheers to the Beauty. And let me show you what that is. I don't have the palette to show you because I did depot it. If you want to see the depotting video, I'll put it right here. But I have the shadows down here. I'm going to cover up the bottom because that's the next set of selections. But there is the Cheers to the Beauty palette. That is all the uh, shadows right there. Now, what I did do, though, is I did... Uh, separate out the five mattes, which you see as a whole row at the very top, and then the metallics and shimmers uh, down below. You'll see those five pans there, lots of golds and greens and blues. And then that big pan right at the other side there is the uh, highlighter that came with the palette, which is the 13th pan. And the highlighter, last time I used it, I did a focus on the Cheers to the Beauty. There's quite a series of videos. I'll put them all in the description box if you want to see everything about the Cheers to the Beauty palette, which unfortunately was discontinued by Colored Rain. The, yeah, the highlighter I ended up using as a, a bit of a topper to transform shadows, but I also did use it on the cheek. And it is, it is a, it's a nice kind of um, typical uh, highlighter. It tends to the goldy peach. But it's, it's flattering. It looks good. And in the summertime, over a bronzer, it's going to look really nice. So I'm looking forward to using that palette along with the Aurora. I will be very colorful. And that's the good thing. And so just to be sure uh, to mention, Steph's uh, numbers were 11 and 42. So 11 was the Aurora palette and 42 was Cheers to the Beauty. Now, we are getting to Julie. 
Julie chose number 29 and number 46. And I thought it was really nice because this month she is turning 46 on the 29th of July. So very nice, relevant numbers for her. And I hope, Julie, that you do not mind your selections. Um, I, I don't think you'll mind them. You have a very unique face palette situation because it's a face palette that I put together myself uh, with a couple of individual uh, pans and six a set of six from two different brands. So I know I'm being cryptic. Let me show you what it is. It is in my Makeup Forever Magnetic Palette. And what I did was I had a Sephora blush palette that I was not too keen on. So essentially what you selected for me is a Sephora face palette. And they're, they, they're called blushes, but one of them could definitely be a bronzer. And I have a couple more items in with these uh, blushes. A couple of them are beaten up here, but that's going to allow me to take uh, care of the kick up. So down here, these are all the blushes that came in that set. So this and this. So the one right here and then these five was a set of uh, six Sephora blushes set out in a palette form. And then I have another, I have a Sephora bronzer up here to complement the blushes. And then I have a Stay Matte powder and a bronzer from Rimmel. So I'm going to be using all of these as one of my face palettes this uh, coming period. And my goal here will be to use the pans so that there's less kick up uh, in this palette. And I'm really curious about the Rimmel powder. So this is great. I'm getting to use it. It's been on my list to get to. And then I promise to try each and every one of the six Sephora blushes and of course the bronzer. So that is what I'm going to do with this palette. Thank you very much for selecting it. I'm, I'm excited because it's been on my to-do list and it's so nice for it to, uh, to finally be at the top. And Julie, you are going to love number 46 for the eyeshadow palette. Let me show you. Why do I think you're going to like it? Well, first off, it's going to go with the palette selection that you made for face. And it has a bunch of cool tones because it's the chocolate bar from Too Faced. I will make sure to do some cool tone looks with this palette specifically for you since you picked it. And, uh, and I also have to say though that I do want to use a couple of colors that I, I know that I very much like. And that is Gilded Ganache, which looks really good. I've talked about it many times on this channel. And then Creme Brulee as well. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to using it. Last time I used it for a look, I ended up using these colors down here, but I am um, definitely looking forward to using this palette uh, with, like I mentioned, a focus on cool tones for at least one look. And finally, last but not least, we have Susan. And Susan picked two numbers. She picked number 10 for face palette and 73 for eyeshadow palette. So what is number 10? Well, it so happens to be that it is going to complement the Aurora palette very nicely because it's from the same brand. Steph chose the Aurora palette and Susan picked the contour palette from Anastasia and it looks like this. And I really, really love this contour palette. I think it is a very, very good contour palette. As you can see, I have used everything in this palette. You can tell how dirty it is. I'm really going to enjoy using it and I'm going to definitely try out the banana powder, which is kind of a yellow, um, for setting my under eye concealer. Just going to see if it's maybe a little too dark for me, but given I have a little bit more color, give it, um, it, I mean it's summer, I am really looking forward to it. And also trying to figure out which bronzer is going to be better for me right now. This one's a bit cooler, this one's a bit warmer. Eh, we'll, we'll figure it out, but I am going to enjoy it. And if you like a very subtle highlighter, this highlighter is nice and subtle. Um, and of course, all these can pop out of the uh, palette itself, which I think makes it extremely versatile for whichever way you like to use the contour products. I had covered up the lower part of this magnetic palette for you because it is the palette that you selected is a depotted palette and it is down on the bottom. 
And it is a seven pan palette called the Skinny Navy from Lorac. And I'll show you six pans right now. So you'll see six pans and there's one conspicuously absent here in the middle. And that is the navy color that makes it the Skinny Navy. It had an accident, let me show you. You'll understand very quickly why I didn't put it in and I will be repressing it and letting it dry before I put it back into the palette because unfortunately for me, it kind of shattered, but it's a, oops, sorry, move the camera, but it's a gorgeous color. It's an absolutely beautiful color that I hope to be using at least twice. I do have uh, blue on my lower lash line and I was wearing blue on the outer lid yesterday. Um, I'm really enjoying blue. I, I have rekindled my appreciation for blue. It's, I don't feel like it's an old lady color anymore. And this one is particularly pretty. So it, it does make me think of the cobalt blue in the quad that I'm using right now, which is most of my look is from that quad, actually all of it. All of it except for the inner lid is from that quad. The inner lid right now is the Stila Shimmer and Glow called Pigali. I think that's how you say it, but anyway. So Susan, I will repress, I will put it back in, and you will see the full palette in its glory when I do my uh, wrap up at the end. So my apologies for not being able to show you the, the nice palette that you picked uh, at this point. So that's it. Four eyeshadow palettes, three face palettes, well, two traditional face palettes, one that is one that I kind of made up, and a lip palette as well. So we have got quite a variety and I'm really happy with the variety with putting the lip palette in and a kind of constituted palette as well given that there are four selections in each category this time. I feel you have given me a substantial amount of homework and I'm very happy about it and I hope that I will not disappoint in creating a bunch of different looks with the selections you made. Thank you so much for participating. This would not be possible if you weren't giving me your input. I appreciate it very much. I look forward to reporting back throughout the number of weeks I'll be using these. And, uh, and please let me know what you think when you see the pelts being used in, in different videos. I always have what I'm wearing in the description box. Let me know what you think of the, the looks along the way or on Instagram as I post them along the way as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.